And now, for those who do not understand the Kurdish language, I would like to say a few words in English. Uh, it's an honor for me to welcome you to this uh, commemorative ceremony. As you know, 40 days ago, while the Central Committee of our party was in a plenary meeting, uh, half a dozen Iranian missiles targeted our headquarters. By this attack, they uh, destroyed the building of, of our secretariat. They took the lives of 16 of our comrades, including six members of the Central Committee. But our party, KDP Iran, still stands up, and our martyrs are still among us today here, and they will always uh, remain among us, not only through the pictures that you can see here today, but also through the memory of their struggle and their sacrifice for freedom, democracy, and human rights. The struggle that uh, we have been carrying out against the Islamic Republic for almost four decades, and the nature of this regime is known to everybody. It's about a fundamental antagonism. On one side, you have the Kurdish people in Iran who tries by the most pacific and the most legitimate means of struggle to defend its right to exist. On the other side, you have a regime who does not speak any other languages than the one of denial, repression, execution, and terror. It's not the first time that the leadership of our party is attacked by the Iranian regime, and it may not be the last time. But one thing is certain, our struggle will continue, and the barbarism of the Iranian regime will not make us renounce our principles, our goals, and our values. It would be a mistake to consider the Iranian missile, missile attack on our headquarters only as an episode in the conflict between us and the Iranian regime. Uh, in the same way that the Kurds fought ISIS or Daesh on behalf of the entire humanity, uh, we too are fighting against a regime who uh, is causing trouble to the entire region, to the entire Kurdistan, and who poses a threat to the entire humanity. That's why we consider that our struggle deserves more support and attention by the international community. It's time for the democratic and civilized world to say no to this regime. 